and getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Phoenix Suns against the Boston Celtics here in Boston. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, with David Aldridge roaming the sideline. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Center Rob Williams is a big reason the Celtics have become so tough to score on. Jason Tatum says Rob can guard anybody. You always know you got protection behind you if you get beat. He has the potential to win Defensive Player of the Year one of these days. I think that's in his future. So the Time Lord is biding his time, Kevin. <laughs> David, thanks. All wise, Richard, on the guard matchup in this one with two incredible talents going head to head. And we've been really spoiled with all of these guards that we get to watch. The league today has as much talent at the one and two as it ever has. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. The small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. And it's Aiton in at the five. And for the Celtics. Again on the wing, he's joined by Brown. In the post, it's Tatum and Williams. And it's smart in at the one. Brogdon finds Tatum. Driving the lane. That shot missing. Good D by Johnson. Now here's Booker. Eight in a screen on Brogdon. For three, Booker sinks the triple. Booker's got the first bucket of the game with the three for Phoenix. Brogdon looking it over. That one doesn't drop. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Yeah, the reserves add another dimension to their offense, and the opposition had no answers on how to slow them down. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. He gets it in there. Rushing off the contact, look, the dude is strong. When he gets in there, it's easy. That's an easy bucket. Ball against Smart. Booker with no one around. A three-pointer off the mark. For Boston, they've got one of three from the field to start this one so far. Takes a step back. Pass to Smart. Bridges against Brown. Outside to Brogdon. The train. He can't get it to go. Now the Suns take it the other way. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. A bad outing offensively. You, you break that game down, their issues were pretty clear. Won't win games in this league with an offensive night like that. They've got some things to figure out. Just five to shoot. Johnson finds Booker. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Brown. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And the Celtics with the top defense last year, they are so great at switching everything, making the most of their personnel. Now, here's Bridges. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Hooker the pass to Bridges. Good on the triple. And the switching on defense that the Celtics do, it really disrupts teams. And you don't really have mismatches to hunt. And you got guys like Smart and Williams that are out there putting pressure on shooters as well. And here is Williams after Mikael Bridges hitting the three. It's Brown on the wing. Defended by Bridges. There's Brogdon. Boston, no good that time either. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Paul against Smart. A three. Paul can't get it to go. Celtics trail by six. Tatum passes to Williams. And it's Williams with the jam. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. 
dragged in against Booker. To the paint. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Tatum. It's good. How about the balance from Tatum? Absorbing the contact. It just doesn't matter. He takes it like a champ. Booker with it. He averages over 27 points a game and seems to always find a way to score. They get it back. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You take a look at the Suns. They're way down there in the conference standings. Looking for a lot of improvement during the second half of the season. And right now for Phoenix, they have been one of the major surprises in the NBA this season. Unfortunately, for the wrong reasons. And we keep waiting for them to turn it around. And waiting. And waiting. And at this point in time, I'm just going to say it's probably not going to happen. Tatum wide open. He fires one. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. I like everything he's doing so far offensively. Finding his spots. Making strong selections. Booker up top. He's guarded by Brogdon. Booker no good. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. But let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Brown feeling it out a bit. Tatum against Johnson. Six to shoot. Smart kicks to Tatum. From outside the arc. And the Celtics another three. Great ball moving there. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Richard comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. Let's see some of the numbers here for Jalen Brown. Suns trail by four. And here is Paul. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Johnson dishes to Paul. Round against Bridges. Aiton a screen on Smart. Booker no good. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Now here's Tatum. Ten points for him. Brown outside. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Pritchard. A three-pointer no good. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Bridges outside. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Booker's got five. Him with those points, he puts an end to that 10 0 run by the Celtics. Tatum passes to Pritchard. I 
right side Horford. And here's Tatum for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Well, many thought the Suns would let Aiden walk as a restricted free agent. But they had no hesitation matching the offer to bring him back. It looks like he'll be a son for the foreseeable future. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. And there's the pass to Smart. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Horford. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Al Paul. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And that one's good, Aiton. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Aiton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Smart against Booker. Smart kicks to Tatum. To the middle. That's good from Horford on the assist by Tatum. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Phoenix calls timeout. At this point of the season, Greg, right in the heart of the schedule, what are the biggest challenges for a player? Kevin, sometimes it's just about knowing what city you're in. The, the travel in this league is crazy, but you really want to keep focus and, and sleep and eat right. Fight. Some changes here for the Celtics. Williams, he's checked in for Brown, and it's wide in for Marcus Smart. defense Boston there's a Kobe down low screen by Sharich and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up and talking about a franchise that has done a complete 180 look no further than the Phoenix Suns before 2021 they hadn't even been to the playoffs in 10 years for two. That free throw missing. In just four seasons, Phoenix Gregg went from last in the conference to the best record in the entire NBA. It's been an unbelievable story. And there's a lot of talent on this team, not to mention a great coach in Monty Williams. The future is bright for this franchise. Griffin's checked in for Al Horford. Well, after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor. Now here's White. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. And the pass it by Tatum. Strong from three-point land. Tatum is about a 40% shooter from deep. That's impressive. Here's a Kogi. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. 
And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Williams passes to White. Griffin sets the screen for White over Sharich. Six on the shot clock. Williams for three. They get the rebound. Passes it to Pritchard. And he uses the glass on the way. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's Payne. Boy, he just disappeared against Atlanta. They really needed it. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Here's a Kogi, defended by Griffin. A Kogi misses. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Here's Pritchard. Eight points his last outing. Williams a screen on charge. Tatum no good. I tried to create some extra space there, but not able to hit the tough leaning jumper. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Boston ball. Some substitution. Blind green, Shannon. 12 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Tatum. Another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Tatum's got 15 points. And Tatum's teammates love the hustle. They appreciate him going hard on the offensive glass, but really getting it done. And so it's the Boston Celtics with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll return shortly. This one and look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Boston. Here's Shamit. The two Williams are the four and the five. Again on the wing, he's joined by Brown, and it's White in at the one speed. That's the Boston five. Celtics leading by four. Brogdon outside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Brogdon traded over the summer to the Celtics. I'm interested to see how he'll fit with the rest of the Celtics guards. They certainly have a deep rotation now and a lot of flexibility. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Brockton. How did you react, Richard, to the changes and rules in 2021, specifically those banning non-basketball moves? I loved it because the game has gone so far offensively that it put the defenders in such a bad spot. And so now that you're allowing for the defenders to actually play defense now, I think it's great for the game. And instead of right tricking your way to the free throw line. Yeah, because they were using that. It's not a foul. It's what they call. And let's turn what they call into actual fouls. So the referees cleaned it up perfectly. Now here's White. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Williams finds Brogdon. Now here is Horford. And the dunk by Horford. A primary responsibility of Brogdon's. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to him. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Here's Payne. He's now one for two with that bucket. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. 
Pass to Williams. Up top, Brown. It's White on the wing. Payne covering. Williams kicks to Horford. Back to Williams. Lock at six. Outside, White. No good from outside. Suns trail by five. Shamit the pass to Sharich. Here's Payne. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on White. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for Phoenix. Cameron Payne taking two shots. First free throw is good. Smart's checked in for White. And then for Phoenix, Andre Ayton's checked in for Sharich. Johnson comes in for Torrey Gray. And it's Devin Booker in for Landry Shannon. Payne hits them both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Locked in against Booker. Brown outside. Tires from deep. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Brogdon's got his third assist on the night. Now here's Payne, guarded by Smart. Takes the 13-footer. Uh, the amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Pass to Williams. Round with it. over Bridges and it's Brown missing. Suns trail by four. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks guys. Now Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. He says it takes little talent to play defense but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50-50 ball, take charges, be a great teammate, compete, never be okay with losing. Kevin, he has always walked the walk, too. <laughs> he has. Defensive player of the year. He's a terrific player. No question about it. David, thank you. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. A Kogi comes in for Mikael Bridges. And Paul subbed in for Payne. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Horford sets a screen for Brockton. And he's good on the three ball. Brogdon's got the lead up to seven now for the Celtics. Those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Here's Hayton, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Young big men, though, often struggle to find consistency, but you look at Hayton's first four seasons, the numbers are almost identical year to year. Two shots. Free throw drops for Ayton. And for Ayton, the numbers are impressive indeed, averaging a double-double every season. And he's got all the tools, next steps, making more plays for others, and they've been working on his shooting range to open up the lane a bit more. Ayton hits them both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now here's Smart. 
He had 13 points in the win against Brooklyn. And we got to talk about his four steals on the night. That's a complete performance at both ends of the floor. Rodged in the pass to Williams. And that one, good. And the Celtics lead by seven. Slashing with purpose there. After setting that screen, Williams knows where to position himself in these sets. Here's a Kobe. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Robert Williams. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. The line for two. one is off. Hey Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that this would be the next step? Uh, well, the first time is when I thought I was going to be out the league, and so I started uh, doing more and more work uh, until I retired in 2018. So it started way before uh, I retired. That laid the groundwork for you. Good job. That one is no good. And hey, many thought Horford's days were over after his OKC stint but showed he can still be a difference maker in Boston. And boy, was he a huge part of their final run. And it's Brown missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Ball outside. And the pass to Johnson. And the Suns miss again. Horford may not be as consistent as he once was, but Greg, he shows up when you need him the most. You know, he had several big games for the Celtics in the postseason. Great shooter who can really space the court for you. Still also a top-level defender at the rim, and he helped define their interior defense. Paul against Smart. Here's Hayton. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Aiton's got six here in this quarter. And I like the decision-making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. Yeah, if they aren't going to take away his space from mid-range, look, he's going to continue to shoot. So the Celtics called timeout. They're first. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Changes for Boston. Griffin's check in for Williams. Tatum comes in for Jalen Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Brogdon. Richard, taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Passes it to Tatum. 
outside Griffin. Shot clock at six. Boston again missing. Suns trail by five. Ayton in the high post. Tatum on him. Pass to Johnson. To the inside. Here's Ayton. The shot from the low post is good. Ayton's got eight points in the quarter. Austin with the ball. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit where they'll face the Pistons. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Here's Tatum. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. 17 points for Jason Tatum. The defense must be aware of where Tatum is, especially when he's roaming around that mid-range. And the Suns call time here. Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Lee's checked in. in the first quarter, but he's yet to knock one down here in the second. Johnson, the pass to Okogi. Watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Derek White checked in for Boston. Phoenix also making some changes. Sharks checked in for eight. And it's Torrey Craig in for Johnson. Now here's Tatum. He picked up 39 points in their last one against Brooklyn. And equally impressive on the backboards. I thought his rebounding was huge. Now here's Williams. It's a five-point game. Here's White. Here's Tatum. That's a basket. Is eighth from the field, 8 of 14. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. A Kobe, the pass to Paul. Sharks with the screen for Paul. Shoots over Griffin. And how about the timing there? Griffin using that athleticism on the defensive end to block it. Lee outside. Pass to Sharch. Drops one in from the wing. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. It's a five-point game. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. Felt great about their chances in overtime. It took a little extra, but they were able to get it done. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. Now, here's Craig. 
No points in the game yet for him. Just four to shoot. And a wide open look for Lee. His three pointers off the mark. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Ball stolen. Ball surveying the floor. Tries it from the top of the key. A shot missing. Now Boston takes it the other way. And Greg, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. Zelnick's have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. Shoot two. That free throw good from Griffin. And there are only a handful of players who can create excitement just by being on the floor. And Griffin is one of them. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Bridges is checked in for Lee. Andre Shamit comes in for Josh Okoge. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. Griffin hits them both. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now here's Payne. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. And it's in there. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Here's Pritchard. Payne covering. Here's Tatum, and he makes good on the way. Tatum's got the lead back up to seven now for the Celtics. Oh, a big night for Tatum. This is a guy who's put up 60 in the game. There is a short list, very short, that I am not on who have done that. Payne finds Craig, connects from three-point range. Nice ball movement there, delivered the pass right on time. Austin leading by four. There's 25 seconds left here in the second. Here's Pritchard. Payne covering. Just five on the clock. Here's Griffin. Kept alive by Boston. Chalk up two there. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Shamit on the wing. And the three off target. And so that's the end of the first half. Boston on top, up six. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, we've got to set screens. We've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, coach. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And with All-Star Weekend approaching quickly, here's an update on how the dunk contest contenders are shaping up. And big fella, the people want to know, why didn't you ever participate in the contest? Because I would have broke the rim. Well, it depends on when you did it. Orlando Shaq would have broke the rim. Phoenix Shaq, I don't think, could grab the rim. 2K Shaq's going to break your face if you don't watch it. <laughs> Let's switch it up and talk about the first half. How about the production from Jason Tatum? Look, I got to praise what he's doing. Playing with power. Dominant in the lane. Almost looks as good as how I did. Almost. Very generous of you to heap that praise on him, big fella. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. 
you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look they wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Monty Williams. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. The small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. And it's Aiton in at the center position. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. And looking back to Devin Booker in that 2015 draft, this guy went 13th overall. What a steal. Plus, Book was the fourth guy taken from his own college. I think that put a giant chip on his shoulder. Fueled Devin to the all-star he is today. He hits the second from the line. When Devin Booker steps on the court, you almost expect 30 or 40 point nights. Booker is that talented. Oh, here's Brown. Brown throws it down. Muscling that one in. JB is a strong individual. Suns trail by seven. Paul passes to Aiton. The pass to Johnson. And here is Bridges. And it's off from three-point range. Tatum against Paul. Tatum kicks to Smart. Back to Tatum. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Hooker the pass to Aiton. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Aiton sets the pick for Bridges. Williams with the clock. Side, smart. Bridges against Brown. Tatum passes to Brown. Williams. Rebound by the Suns. Aiton's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Here's Paul. And the Suns miss again. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses. They need to settle in quick. Tatum draws the double. Smart, wide open. He fires from outside off the mark. And they have started out this quarter shooting just 20%. Let's just say this is not the way they wanted to open the second half. Paul kicks to Bridges. Booker to end the drought. And Boston with the rebound. Williams has got seven rebounds in the game. Is it possible to rest too much? Because he hasn't been able to get into a groove since coming back in. Richard, haven't we seen a lot of growth in Jason Tatum's game? He gives credit to the late Kobe Bryant for that. Yeah, he was fortunate enough to train with Kobe Bryant, and sometimes he reminds you of a young Kobe. He clearly absorbed a ton of information from him. And that one falls for Tatum. A multi-talented swingman. Tatum just continues to get better and better each year. And so Tatum nails them both. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the final. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. 
Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers and they found a temporary edge, but now every team shoots a lot of threes and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And DA, we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD, uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. They'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. And it's smart with the ball for Boston. In the second half, they've only given up one basket coming from the free throw line. There's the feed to Brown. Outside, smart. Off target from outside. Suns trail by nine. Inside. And Aiton throws it down. I love the play call. Uh, Aiton's a well-coordinated athlete. You know he has the reach. Give him a chance to go up and get it. Now here's Smart. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Tipped away. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And this is how you protect and grow a lead, by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Tatum dishes to Smart. Five on the clock. Oh, Tatum in position. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Booker against Tatum. Booker the pass to Ayton. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. And now it's only a five-point Celtic lead. They are just killing them on the interior. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And a close game like this, you've got to dig out, deep out. and just find a way to make things happen. Timeout called the Celtics. Changes here for the Celtics. Al Horford checked in for Robert Williams. Grant Williams comes in for Tatum, and it's wide in for Smart. Side white. Brown inside, covered by Lee. Horford sets a screen for Brockton. Six to shoot. Lets it go from deep. 
Payne grabs the board. Suns trail by five. Passes it to a Kogi. Back to Payne. He kicks to Lee. Here's Craig. And a miss there on the triple. Austin shooting 38% from the field. A pretty good showing for them. White finds Brown. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Phoenix has gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Sharks passes to Okogi. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Horford. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Celtics. Josh Okogi. Two shots. Shoot two. He's off on the first. Pritchard, he's checked in for Brogdon. Landry Shamit's checked in for Phoenix. Good on the second free throw. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Horford. Here's Pritchard. Outside Williams. Down low. Pass to Pritchard. Shoots over Payne. And the shot is long. Suns trail by four. Lee dishes to paint. Screen by Charge. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for Al Horford. We're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Andre Ayton's checked in for Phoenix. Payne hits them both. with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. White with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Williams sets a screen for White. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by White. Derek White was only six feet in high school. No D1 schools even offered a scholarship. Derek ended up at a D2 school, but White had a major growth spurt up to 6'4. Transfers to a D1 school. The Spurs take him late in the first. What a crazy path to the lead. To the middle. Here's Ayton. And it's all evened up. Ayton's got 18 points. And this is where Ayton does the most damage. Inside, feels like he can score on anyone. Here's Pritchard. Outside, White to stop the drought. Hits it from three-point range. White's got his first three points of the game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Payne. 
And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. To the paint. Horford kicks to Brown. Back to Horford. Nice ball movement by Boston. Clock at four. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Taking a look at Boston. They're down in the bottom of the conference. Their fans hope they can turn it around and show some improvement. And you know, for the Celtics, they have been one of the major surprises in the NBA this season. Unfortunately, for the wrong reasons. And we keep waiting for them to turn it around. And waiting. And waiting. And at this point in time, I'm just going to say it's probably not going to happen. Out to charge. Lee against Brown. Now the pass to Payne for the lead. And they get it back. Ayton. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. The Celtics with the lead. Here's White. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting display. Now here's Payne. Ten points for him. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for the Phoenix Suns. On Saturday, they continue the road trip. Heading out to Detroit, they'll take on the Pistons. And then on Tuesday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn Nets. You know, it might sound cliche, but a road trip like this one is a great time for this team to build chemistry on and off the court. Chemistry absolutely matters in the NBA. And these are the kinds of opportunities teams need to build no good on the free throw. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Horford. And it's Tatum in for Brown. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. Bridges comes in for Lee. This team thinks they should be up in front, but at least they tied it up. Here's Tatum. Rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Bridges with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Pass to Payne for the lead. And Boston with the rebound. Outside Tatum. Pass to Pritchard. Williams with the ball. He's guarded by Johnson. Free throw line jump shot. Good on the bucket. And the Celtics lead by two. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Pass to Johnson. To the inside. Griffin with the steal. At the elbow, Williams. Griffin passes to Tatum. Launches it. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Celtics lead by two. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And for the Celtics, they're shooting at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. Griffin out there with Jason Tatum. Then it's Marcus Smart. Then it's Rob Williams. And it's Brogdon in at the two. That's the Boston Five. Smart finds Griffin. Now here's Brogdon. Rebound by the Suns. Johnson's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Paul dishes to Bridges. Takes the 13-footer, and Aiton throws it down. And the all-around offensive game Aiton has is just fantastic. Capable of scoring in many different ways. Now here's Tatum. Banked in off the glass. Tatum's got 25 points. 
and that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Here's Ayton. Back to Paul. Five to shoot. To take the lead. Rebounded by the Celtics. To the paint. Here's Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. What a find by Griffin. He's a lot more skilled as a passer than he gets credit for as far as power forwards go. He has terrific vision. And Aiton throws it down. Get him the ball anywhere close to the hoop. That thing is over. Booker against Brogdon. Kicks it to Tatum. Feeds to Williams. Back to Tatum. No oh, good with the triple. The Suns have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Smart against Paul. The dish to Booker. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. That one, no good. In the corner, it's Brogdon. He kicks it to Smart. The pass to Tatum. Brogdon outside. Takes a three. The offensive rebound. The kick out to Tatum. Riven sets the screen for Tatum. From the arc. And rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Passes to Ayton. Over Williams. Williams with the block. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Timeout called. The Suns. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup and for the players. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade and get ready to play strong to finish off the game. All right, so fans, give it up for Austin making some changes. Horford comes in for Griffin, and it's Brown in for Jason Tatum. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, here's what Monty Williams went over with his team during the timeout. With this game still up for grabs, he told his team, hey, we're in position to take this one, guys. Let's stay focused and stay together, and we'll get it done. We'll see how it plays out, Kevin. Thank you, David. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And again, it's the Suns missing. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it.
Here's Brown. Williams has a screen for Brogdon. He's looking for Williams and finds him. It just seems, Richard, like Robert Williams is a guy willing to do anything to help his team. And there's a whole lot he can do. His defense has never been a question. He can dish it. He's an aggressive rebounder. And look, his effort level, that's something you don't ever question. And the first one drops. And on top of the talent, the, the physical ability, w Williams, just a coachable kid and really picks things up quickly. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Pass to Johnson. Pass to Aiton. Back to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Aiton a screen on Brogdon. And they'll get another chance. And that one goes out of bounds. It's touched by Aiton. Austin leading by four. Smart passes to Brock. Smart on the wing. Defended by Paul. Smart dishes to Williams. Paul with the steal. The pass to Booker. to break that ice cold streak and it's good on the layer slicing his way to the rim booker making it look easy despite the contact and here's smart and paul over to help outside to brogdon good and smart gets the assist after sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now here's Booker. Jacks up a three. Austin grabs the miss. Williams has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Offensive rebound. Passes it to Brogdon. Williams sets a screen for Brown. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Uh, getting the hoop and the harm. That's tremendous body control from Brown. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. Payne, he's checked in for Paul. Jalen Brown at the line, shooting one. Free throw good from Brown. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. And it's Aiton missing. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Brown kicks to Brogdon. Pass to Horford. Brogdon against Booker. Here's Smart. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Pass to Payne. Back to Bridget. Let's it go with a three. Good on the three-point shot. No hesitation from Bridges. He gets the ball and is primed to take that shot. Now a timeout called by Boston. Here they 
Here. Tatum's checked in. So it's Boston now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Outside Williams. Here's the pass to Brogdon. Over Booker. No good that time. Now the Suns take it the other way. They've got the Pistons ahead of them in their next game in Detroit. And that game will be game two of five out on the road. The rebound by the Celtics. Brogdon's got four rebounds now tonight. More than a few bad breaks for him this quarter. He's struggling, and the team is following suit on the scoreboard. Bridges against Tatum. Brown outside. Off target from three-point range. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Celtics leading by five. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Here's Williams. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. And that's now 10 points for Rob Williams. Phoenix calls timeout. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. And whatever the D has thrown at him, he's had an answer. His offense is coming naturally to him because he keeps things simple. You hear that, people? Keep things simple.
Booker the pass to Johnson. Back to Booker. And stolen by Tatum. Brown outside. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Offensive rebound. Ayton. Up and in on the way. Ayton's got 13 points in the second half. He is showing signs of maturity in these moments. It's clear that Ayton takes pride in coming through for his team. Now, here's Tatum. Over Johnson. Tatum's shot is off. Nothing is going his way in this half offensively. Really having a hard time finding his shot. On the wing, Booker. High, arcing shot. Good D by Brogdon. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. It's colder than cold. But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. And as long as he keeps missing from deep, the D will keep letting him fire away. He's just off from range right now. Booker inside. He's guarded by Brogdon. And since going to the finals back in 2021, Booker's earned the reputation of a winning player. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. I do not care what kind of game he is having. In these moments, Tatum is just different. Falls for Tatum. Oh, and he caps that off in style. He gets the finish with the harm. Huge possession there to extend the lead. Good! And now they trail by just four. Check out Booker rising to meet the challenge. He wants so badly to deliver for his team. And he commits the intentional foul. First personal foul. Four, two, five. At the line for his Marcus Smart. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. That's good, going one of two from the line, and that puts them up by five. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Kicks to Ayton. It's over Brogdon. Now here's Payne, guarded by Smart. Ayton a screen on Smart. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. He is a great kid. I I'd love to see this from Aiden stepping up in the big moment, letting his talent take over. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. First one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Well, Tatum does look ready, prepared to do what he does best in the clutch. Get buckets. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. And Booker kicks to Johnson. From deep three-point range, rebound by Williams. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistent. At the line for the Celtics, Robert Williams. At the line for two shots. Two shots. That's on the first. 
He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. So it's the Celtics picking up the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave him that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. Got a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Al, congrats. Tough game tonight. When do you think you guys really locked in and started taking control of the game? It all started the second half. We didn't do a good job the first half. We let him hang around. But, um, uh, you know, at least we uh, reacted better the second half. This is one of those games that we just had to, you know, will, will our way uh, to win this. A lot of games like that, you have to kind of just grind out, Al. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum.